Hello, we have reached the stock business model and we are talking today about why having a great technology or new product is not enough anymore. Here is our orientation map that we have used since the beginning and um, we have reached now that core where all the lines, all the pieces of the puzzle are coming together where you're actually trying to create that engine that is driving your business. Here are the topics that we're gonna be discussing. We're first gonna go through the questions, you can't escape. As usual, uh, we are gonna dive into some definitions again so that we are on the same level, talking about the same thing. We are now looking into the details of the business model canvas that we have used since the beginning. And we will look at the business model patterns that are out there and actually reviewing business models that are used by different companies and how they are using that. Um, to say the least, there's also a tool that we are gonna be looking into that is quite effective and also fun to use to create maybe your own new business model that will help you disrupt your industry. So here I'm jumping already into the questions you can't escape. Of course, this is the stop here where we're talking about your economic model. And not only that, we are also checking it and from all the different sides, if this model is also working in different contexts, in different conditions in other countries or in a different uh, systematic uh, framework. Why? Because we want to know how long you will be able to persevere against your competition with that economic model that drives your business. The iceberg. We are having really a very big, big uh, area that is below the waterline here. And even some of the business model is not really transparent and visible in public. It's of course all about how does that exchange of value happen with your customer? Um, how do you get to start this whole process? Maybe in a pilot project with your first customers that are helping you to co-create this. Um, let's dive into these different ways of how this connection between you and your customers can start uh, moving and getting a momentum. So at the beginning, when you start a topic, you start uh, you know, researching what this is actually about. The why is really important. So I would like to um, take you on a journey why business model innovation is actually more important than product or service innovation. And the reason is in the fast change that we are experiencing actually everywhere in our lives. It's just accelerating everywhere and it has become really easy to copy a product or a service. I'm sure you know that if you ever had the idea of starting something, you would your first you know thought is like, well, is somebody else out there who is already doing that or somewhere else, maybe if it's not in your own country or in your own uh, context. That's why it has become so much more important to uh, look at building an entire system and an entire business model system that allows you to be different because it is quite difficult to copy that, especially if you already or also have a community that is part of that business model um, that drives your organization. This is your competitive advantage it gives you that head start and it also allows you to even stay there. That's what studies have shown. Um, you are making four times more returns than an organization that is focused only on new products and new services. So that's why in the future and not just in the future, but already now, the competition is actually taking place between business models and not between new products or new technologies. And I'm saying this 
um, and have backed this up by another survey where more than 4,000 senior managers have been um, um, asked and their overall message, message is that companies to business, how companies to business will often be as or more important than what they do. So it's not about the what, but how and their why. We have been working with the business model canvas for quite some time now. And now I would like to come back to Alexander Osterwalder who has actually created it. And uh, he is describing that a business model um, is describing actually the magic of how your business works in its bits and pieces. And it, it's all centered around the four dimensions, the who, the what, the how, and the value. And um, yeah, it sounds very, very easy, of course. Um, it's a one pager, as you know, um, but there is a lot to it. And uh, it's trying to help us um, visualize and simplify the complexity that is actually hidden uh, in this system that is driving and um, you know, helping us stay in the driver's seat in our organizations. So that's our definition here. It's describing the rationale, how an organization creates, delivers and captures value. Where does this belong to? If you, you know, come from a bigger perspective, it's part of the business strategy in an organization. And very importantly, even if you don't plan to start your own company at any point in the future, this entrepreneurial thinking, that business model uh, thinking actually is something that is needed in any company because that's the big uh, obstacle, the big uh, challenge that every company is facing sooner or later. So thank you very much for listening. And I would like to uh, start with a call to action here now for you to uh, take a pen and paper and write down the questions, the thoughts that have come to your mind. And I would also like to uh, recommend you to be um, really easy on yourself here. This is a huge topic. There is a lot of material uh, to be looked into. I'm recommending you to really share this uh, task with your team members and come together and discuss um, what you have learned, share that knowledge and um, yeah, take your time uh, because this is exactly also what happens in startups out there. You need to take your time uh, to find the right business model. So see you on the other side.